Okay, so what we're checking out today is this Harbor Freight Baxter Straight Line Sander, Longboard Sander. Um, I've heard people call it a uh, air file. I don't think that's the correct term, but hey, maybe it's just old school. I don't know, but let's check this thing out. this thing out when you first get this thing of course it doesn't come preloaded with sandpaper it doesn't come with any sandpaper it does not come with your mail-in connector for your air hose okay it comes with the sander itself okay this move that back this is the box mine's got a shipping sticker on there 2350 spms it's like a, it's a, I think it's got a one inch stroke yeah there we go and it uh, uses 1.35 CFMs. Alright. You can read all this stuff. The little piston and all that crap. So let's open this thing up. Here's what it comes with. It comes wrapped in this bag. You don't need that crap. I mean, this is pretty basic. It tells you before use, oil the air inlet on the side port, which I did with Harp Freight Pneumatic Tool Air Oil. Alright. After use, clean with air tool cleaner. If not, you avoid the warranty the whole 30 days or whatever it comes with. Here's your instructions. Yeah, not reading that. It's basic stuff. Probably should read it. Something in there for you. Um, let's move back on to this guy here. Okay, so when you get this thing, it's huge, man. It moves forwards and backwards. So when you're sanding something, you still got to do your X motion, and it's moving this way, you know? So... You move it whatever way you got to to get this thing to work for you, but it does a pretty good job anyways. All right, so the way you load paper on this thing, you lift up this tab, you spin it around, you got a tab on the other side. Now it's got these little rubber things here. See right here? Well, the minute I flipped the switch on the first one, I don't know if you could tell that it's gone, but it flew up in the air. Haven't been able to find it since really not that big a deal because you see when you push this lever down it clamps your paper so you got to have your paper a little bit long on there now up in there is a soft pad now I haven't taken sticky paper off of here because I've got a, a long roll of sticky paper that I've been using on this thing let's see how it does it's actually pretty nice yeah look at that it comes right off it doesn't stick and this is quality sandpaper here. This isn't cheap crap. That does make a difference too. But uh, you always want to keep a piece of sandpaper on this thing. Otherwise, you start getting dust on it. It's, the sandpaper's not going to stick. This paper to me is no good anymore. It's done sat on my workbench. It's got little metal particles in it. I wouldn't touch a car with that again. But I'm going to leave it on there. Like I say, you want to keep paper on there at all times. Keep the bottom of your board clean. Now air consumption all right let's move on to that I'm gonna flip the camera around so you can see the seriousness in my eyes okay so what I'm gonna show you running this thing on is the central pneumatic 21 gallon oiled compressor let me show you real quick I've got this thing it's charged up all right maxed out at 90 psi at the outlet and this thing is done hazed over. So I'm flipping it off for right now. Just because it leaks a little bit and I don't want it kicking on while we're doing this video. But what we're going to do is put this thing to the test, alright? 
I've got a 72 Buick GS here that I'm having to do a little filler work on and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna be doing the work that I need to be doing and I'm gonna show you this thing in action and I'm gonna show you how long it takes for the compressor to kick on from a fully recharged tank before it starts another work cycle so you can get an idea all right it's gonna be loud but I'll turn the volume down in the video so here we go you ready Gauges, switches on. Okay. Let me get my air and my mask on. Oh, and uh, by the way, I believe what I got here is a quarter inch orifice and a Diablo hose to go with it okay Merlin connections also Harbor Freight so this is utilizing all Harbor Freight stuff here minus my uh, oil water separator catch in line with the system and the paper all right and the mask so let's do this here we go starting at zero our full full 90 Okay, so you can see it didn't take very long for that thing to kick on and start another work cycle. Okay, but let me tell you something. I'm not going to sit here and run this thing with the camera on, just listening to noise, but uh, not to mention who wants to sit here and watch my Sam body filler. Hmm. I want to turn my music back on if I'm going to do that. But anyways, it's my buddy T. So anyways, it, start, it kicks on pretty quick, but you know what? For what I paid for the air compressor, I kind of run it like a dog and it pretty much stays on when I'm using the DA when I'm using the air sander when I'm using a little air grinder the little $10 to $30 ones at Harbor Freight uh, run all those things it pretty much stays on all the time it's kind of what you got to do you know if you're trying to do it on a budget but anyways it is a pretty good sander it does sand pretty flat um, the, the uh, foam on the bottom though it can it contours to things so it's either good or bad for you if you want it like super rigid I don't know if they make one that's super rigid but I mean you could always fashion something up on there you could take the foam off I, I'd leave it on there man it's not a big deal uh, I'm using it right now for the rough sand downs on the heavier grits and then doing the rest of it by hand with the finer grits with a long board Duraplop but anyways, as far as the Baxter goes, so far I've had it about a week. It's pretty good. It's pretty solid. Um, it's not spitting juice out of it anywhere. Uh, the foam seems pretty good for uh, a one pad change there, one piece of sandpaper change that I've done. Seems pretty solid. Uh, it does a pretty good job sanding. And if you're going to complement it with this air compressor, the 21 gallon one, you know what you're looking at. This thing's going to run constantly. Uh, don't expect to be doing this at 1 a.m. unless you live in BFE or you just want to piss your neighbors off. So anyways, does it work? Yes, it works pretty good. Do you need a better air compressor than I have to use it? Yeah, probably, but that'll work for now. Um, I would not go any lower than that. 21 gallon on that compressor, I absolutely wouldn't go any lower than that. And if you're unfamiliar with that compressor, uh, YouTube, some videos on it. It's, uh, let's see here. 125 PSI, two and a half horsepower, 21 gallon tank. It's oiled. They have a red one that's a non-oiled compressor. I decided against that. 
because I didn't want a compressor that didn't have oil. That just sounded weird to me. Um, and then also they have the new one out that's gray. I haven't tried that. I don't make any money on these YouTube videos. It's strictly just for people trying to figure stuff out. So if you want to see more of the GS or more and more tools, let me know. Till then, get some stuff done, man.